Hey there guys, my name's HN, welcome back to another Minecraft PS4 server video and today I'm going to be showing you how you can play with your friends on Minecraft servers like this or like this. Before I do continue guys, don't forget to make sure to go and hit that like button if this helps, go subscribe if you are brand new to the channel, hitting that notification bell, getting all the latest videos and up to date news with your boy HN. First things first, what we're going to do is make sure our mine proxy app on our Android phone is working. So if you don't know how to join servers, I did make a video on it quite a week ago now or something, so if you want to go and watch that. Go and watch those two videos, then come back. But make sure this is all sorted. So what you're going to do is obviously go and click on that. Make sure it connects to the server. And what we're going to do this with is we're going to do the example of the Hive mini games to show you how to join your friends on there. Then if you are unsure how to do it on other servers, I will show on Mineplex as well. Once you're in the Hive mini game server right here in the server lobby, you are going to notice these certain little items in your hotbar below. So you've got this right here, which is the game selector, which is the compass. You've got party, which is the book, friends, which is the name tag, and global locker, which is this little dummy figure right here. So we're not going to focus on the compass or this right here, as we are going to go and focus on the name tag and the party use. So, for example, if you go onto the name tag right here, you click L2 on your PS4 controller, as you can see right here, I've got a fairly decent amount of friends which aren't online at the minute, but for example, if you want to go and add a friend to be able to play with them, you're going to need to add them on the server. So their name appears like this. It will say if they're online on the server or if they're offline. If they're online, chances are they will more likely to come and join you easier so you guys can go and play. But if you want to go and add a friend, all you're going to have to do is go and click there and you will add them by your Microsoft name. Not by PS4 or Xbox name because chances are when, if you're a PS4 player coming onto here, you'll be adding them up by the Microsoft. It won't be PSN name or anything like that. So once you've added it and submitted it, you just have to wait till they accept. Then once they have done that, you will have them on your friends list like this. So once you've added your friend on the server right here, you're going to want to go and have the book in your hand. Click L2 on your PS4 controller and it'll come up with something like this. So currently for me at the minute, I don't have any incoming invites or any other friends online at the minute. But if you go and invite players right here, you'll have the option to invite a friend or invite all for online friends to your party. So what this will basically do is it will invite and make a mini party in game for all of you to go and basically play on. So you can play solos, duos, squads and trios and everything like that. So then once you have made that, if you click onto any mini game, they will basically come with you so you can go and play any of these games that you like. Next, I'm going to show you on the Mindplex server right here. It's fairly straightforward and pretty darn simple. So it's the same concept with the Hive, but each server has got it in its own different way. So right here, we've got the cosmetics chest right here. We've got teleport to spawn, open friends menu, and party. So we're going to go into the name tag once more. And it's a little bit different with the Mindplex from the Hive minigame. So for example, if there's somebody that you just met in the server and you want to become friends with, you can literally simply go up to them like this and whack at them and it'll literally say the amount of gems earned, the amount of games they've played, the games they've won and their favourite game. You can invite them to a party or add them as a friend simply like that so it'll be as easy as anything for you. Or if you want to go around the long section of doing it, you can go onto the name tag here, like in the Hive mini games, and open this up. And if you have any friend requests, you can accept them like that. Or if you want to go and add a friend, you can go and type in the Microsoft username right there. So then once you've done that, it will probably show your friends list online who are obviously there, or if you've made any friends on here. Then, once you've done that, you can go straight to the diamond, which is going to be the party. So if you want to play certain mini games together, you can make a party together. So it will show the online friends that you can invite. You can invite any player. You can find a random party to join if you're just looking for somebody to play with. Or you can open a party. 
Last but not least, guys, we are on the Lifeboat minigame server right here, and we're just going to go and have a little look at this name tag, which is the Friends and Party Beta, so it isn't exactly fully done yet, as it says right here. The friend system is still in testing phase. You may experience friend resets right here, so you can view your friends right here that you've got online or offline if you want to add a friend. Again, it's literally the same with adding their Microsoft username for their account for servers. You can view your requests, blocked players, which is isn't a thing you can do on other places or if you find anybody that you want to start a party with you can start a party but at the minute with this the party system is coming soon apart from that guys that is literally it for this video so for the majority of official servers right here it is going to be very different with how they do it and they are going to have some certain things some other servers don't have with the certain friends adding and party making sort of systems that they've got but I hope this generally helps. If you have got access to PS4 servers, as I've shown how to do in my previous videos, then this should help if you're wanting to try and find friends or basically play mini games with friends. So this should make it a little bit more easier for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If this has helped, let me know. But if you'd like to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit that like button. Go subscribe if you are brand new to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Get all the latest videos and up-to-date news with your boy HN. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. My name's HN, and I will see you in the next one.